I recently picked up the Taxstar SGC 598 shotgun mic from Amazon for a little under $30. Inside the box, you're going to find a velvet like carrying case to store the microphone away for safekeeping in case you're traveling, as well as the instructions, which is, neat, which is neatly printed on one sheet. Further inside, we see a little quality assurance card. Yay for quality assurance. Thank you very much. And inside, you'll find the microphone itself with a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack for connecting to your camera as well as a, sho a shock mount that it's hooked up to, which can be hooked up to the hot shoe of your camera. Further inside, speaking of shock mounts, is additional springs, should any of those get damaged in use. Alongside of the microphone, you're going to see three switches. One is a bass boost switch. The center one is a plus 10 dB boost. So let's power switch. All right, well, that's great and all. But what does this thing actually sound like once it's hooked up? Currently, I'm recording uh, my voice and this footage on a, Canon Re on a Canon EOS Rebel T3i camera. It's a regular shooting camera that does video, so it's not awesome, but it works. Now, this is just, again, the audio right through the microphone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the microphone up to the camera, and we're going to see how it sounds like. So hang on for me. Okay. Now I've got the microphone hooked up to the camera. It's sitting in the hot shoe, and it's plugged into the microphone port of the camera itself. Now, this is what it sounds like with all of the default settings on. So, there should be a notable improvement to the audio quality of this particular recording. It's not using the little teeny tiny uh, microphone that's part of the camera. This is now a separate external source pointed directly at me. The audio quality should have shut, should have shut up a little bit. So, wow, well, what I want to do is, I want to go inside, I want to mess with some of these settings. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the bass boost option and see what that does to the quality of the sound. All right, the bass boost is turned on. Uh, if we notice any difference, maybe, maybe not. Again, this is a very in inexpensive mic. The feature that uh, I've been using as I've been testing this thing around, shooting around the house, uh, even using it as a desk mic, uh, the plus 10 dB is what really kind of helps this microphone out a little bit, so hang on. Alright, so now the plus 10 dB has been turned on and you should notice a bump in volume. I've not increased the volume of my voice, this is the way I normally speak um, in every day when I talk to a camera when there's nobody around. Anyway, that's the plus 10, B 10 dB that is turned on and there we go. So I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to discuss also how else I use this particular setup lately. So currently I've got the microphone situated uh, on a tripod hooked up to a little uh, hot shoe adapter. So it sits at, at the head of the tripod and it's currently hooked up to the 3.5 millimeter jack uh, on my tower. So it, it's, this kind of ended up being a desk, a desk mic. Um, looking into live streaming, I did some testing with, o, with OBS a little while ago. Uh, it looks like fun. Maybe you guys will see me playing some old games and as I scream at the screen because I'm terrible. But that's kind of where this thing ended, ended up. You know, I used it to shoot the footage for this particular review of the microphone and uh, this thing's a little bit more versatile than I thought it'd be. So I like it for the cost. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it and it'll get me through until uh, I can get something else.